Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Y'all like my hair? I got blue, blue this time. Blue, large, not red. Y'all like my shirt? It says no adulty on the weekend. But guys, I am super, super excited to give you guys some good news. For you guys that are new here, I don't, you know what, I actually have never talked about this on my channel. I suffer from depression. I go through a lot of stuff in my mind a lot, and it's really hard for me to concentrate or focus on things. And I grew up in a in a toxic situation where, you know, I didn't feel loved. I didn't, I wasn't shown like, certain things like how to survive in life I kind of was like thrown out to the streets and was like survival mode became my life so me hearing you're not gonna be nothing you're not you know you're not this you're not good enough for this you're not this you're not that it really did something to me and also I was molested as a young child so that traumatized me as well but I pushed through all of that shit, like all that shit, y'all, because at the end of the day, like who is gonna take care of you if you don't? You know what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna wanna hear, I don't got it, uh, can I borrow? Can I have nobody gonna hear that? So what I came up with in the COVID, around the COVID time was braiding hair. And I started braiding hair when I was about, I wanna say I was about, Hmm, probably like nine or ten years old. I used to get my baby dolls and I used to braid designs in their hair, twists, all kind of stuff. I used to do their hair for beads. It was just really, really cute. And I never thought it would be a business, but it was something I liked to do as I got older. Um, to the age where my mom would let me wear a weed, I would make her go to the store and she would be like, What, what like of my sisters and brothers, she'd be like, What do you guys want? On the weekend, she'll take us out to get, you know, toys and take us to the movies and stuff like that. So she'll be like, what do you guys want? And my sisters and brothers, they're like, we want to go to the zoo or they want to go to the movies or, you know, they want some money to go to Blockbuster or whatever, whatever. But I would be like, I want some weave. <laughs> and it's only 99 cents. I need eight packs of weave. And I want to do my hair. And I started doing my hair. No one showed me how to braid I self-taught myself how to braid. Like I watched videos um, when I was young. YouTube wasn't popular, it wasn't out like that. Um, I just basically looked at the pattern because your baby dolls used to come like with a braid already braided in their hair. Some of them, some of them already come with braids in their hair. So I would unbraid it and try to put the pattern back together. And eventually, I learned how to braid. Just I don't know, it sounds crazy, but that is how I learned how to braid. I unbraid the pattern off the already braided braid in the baby doll's hair, and then I would copy that pattern and try to, you know, learn how to braid. And eventually I learned how to braid. My mom would buy me some synthetic hair. It was 99 cents back in the day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The synthetic um packs of hair for 99 cents, and I started doing my hair and started braiding my hair um, when I was about, uh, I think it was like 14 in seventh grade. And first, when I first started braiding my hair, it was so ugly, y'all. It was so, so ugly. Like, I went to school and I was ashamed of my hair. Well, actually, I wasn't ashamed of my hair. It was like, I was proud of my hair, but it was like, when I got around kids, the reaction, it, they gave me from my head. It was like, ooh, that's so ugly, that's so big. Who did your hair? And I was embarrassed, so I would lie and tell them, oh, this lady from Magic Finger did my hair. It was a shop that was popular in my um, neighborhood that all the girls used to go to. So I was like, the girl in the back did my braids or whatever. And they would be like, um, they would be like, no, there's no way she would do your hair like that. That's crazy. So, I was just ashamed of like how the braids came out, I guess because of the reaction. Because at first when I went to school, I thought it was all that I walked through that thing. Like, who? Y'all better catch these braids. Who? Y'all better catch these braids. And then they was just like, uh-uh, girl, that's not it. So 
I lied and told him that somebody else did my braid. But then and eventually it pushed me. So I was like, you know what? I started listening to their opinions. I was like, okay, what did they say? It was too loose, it was too big, it was too much hair. So I started listening to what they were saying. I took their opinions and started doing doing it that way. I was like, well, maybe it's too big, let me make it a little small, let me make it tighter. And eventually they got better. You know, it sounds crazy, but it was like constructive criticism, if you want to say. <laughs> Without them knowing, like they was picking on me, but I really absorbed what they were saying and I turned this out. But anyway. I started braiding when I was young, like about 14, I started getting serious about it. I started charging girls around the neighborhood, like five, I said five. I would start charging girls around my neighborhood, like $50 a head. And this was like in 2001, 2000, 1999. This is a while back, like when we were kids. So $50, $50 was a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I would charge $50 and then life happened and I forgot about my craft. I really forgot about my craft. COVID came and it reminded me of my craft because I danced for years. I worked in the regular world for years. I've done so many things, but I didn't realize like I have a craft. God gave me two hands for a reason. And COVID really helped me uncover that craft. Like, it made me find my craft again. And um, I needed to make some money. COVID shut down jobs, shut down my job for a while. So I needed to make some money. So I started braiding and I put it on Facebook and social media, Instagram, um, wherever I could get my work out, I put it out and people started fighting. They started saying, hey, can you do my hair? Can you do my hair? Can you do my hair? And it got to a point where it was good for a little while, but then it slowed down. But it's like, if you are really interested in something and you really focused on it, you're gonna find a way to like get it off the ground. I don't give a damn, like, you're gonna keep finding ways to get it off the ground. So as I started doing hair, doing it during the COVID, it was good at first and then it slowed down. So I was like, you know what, what, what else can I do? I started doing research because I started liking what I'm doing because I'm realizing, and it's so funny that I'm realizing it at 39, that this is something that I like to do. Like it eventually, I mean, it initially was something that I just picked up as a kid and just was playing with stuff because I was bored and started liking it. But I'm 39 years old, I've been a dancer, I've been in the working world and nothing fulfilled me. You know what I'm saying? And when I started doing this, it fulfilled me. So it's like when it slowed down, it was like I was hungry for that fulfillment. So I'm like, okay, what else can I do to get this off the ground? Because I really like doing this. I found Style Steve and I did my profile. I put my pictures up there and um, immediately it just took off. Like, I started getting so many bookings from Style C and then I had customers before Style C, you know, they were calling me as well. And then customers started coming from all from Instagram, customers coming from Facebook. It was like customers would see me out in public and be like, can you do my hair? Can you do my daughter's hair? And it was just, it just started being like a biz, it started being a business and it was just like a business on the state like it didn't like I wasn't it's just so shocking how this happened it was just so shocking how it happened and then when I think back of how young I was when I first saw a braid in the, in the, in the baby doll's hair and I unbraided it and tried to put the pattern back together and now I'm 39 years old and this business has taken off and I do so well with it like it's it, it's amazing like I started a uh, style C, I started getting clients. So I'm like, I don't want to do a shop. I have friends that ask me, do I want to uh, bring a booth out of that shop and stuff like that. That is not my dream. Like my thing is I want to be a travel braider. Like no matter where I'm at, I can braid your hair. I can pull up on you, braid your hair, no overhead, like no huge overhead. You know what I'm saying? The, only, the most I have, um, but overhead is just the supplies and 
you know, style seats fee and then, you know, gas sometimes, which is very low. So why would I want to, you know, I don't want to do a shop basically. I'm very happy at what I do and traveling and pulling up on my clients and making them smile. But I just want to share with you guys that journey because like, a couple weeks ago, I was in a real bad funk because I suffer from depression. And I was in a horrible funk. And it was just so horrible. Like, I wanted to give up on everything, y'all. Like, I'm gonna be a book with y'all. Let, let me get close to y'all. I wanted to give up on everything. Life, everything. I just wanted to give up on everything because I, you know, I have a lot of responsibilities. I take care of my mom. I make, you know, I have a daughter. You know, I really, it's been like really hard for me out here. And it's just like a lot for me. And like I have um, battles in my head about childhood traumas. You know, I've been molested when I was a young girl. And it's just like, two weeks ago, I just felt like, forget it all and for me it's not always financial it's not financial for me it's a battle in my head it's a battle in my mental like because for me not on no cocky shit y'all I know that I can always go get me a bag you know what I'm saying I'm a hustler don't it don't matter if I gotta go work at Walmart it don't matter if I gotta go shake ass right quick it don't matter if I gotta do 11 heads like 12 head, it don't matter. Like, I'm gonna go get that bag. It don't be financial. For me, it be mental. Like, I don't have the answers to a lot of stuff that happened to me in my past. And like, I forgive a lot of things because I can't be around you if I don't forgive you. But I don't forget and I'm nobody's fool. You know what I'm saying? So I battle with that in my head a lot. and. That cripples me a lot. It's like two weeks ago, I was just like in the bed, didn't want to get up, didn't want to make no money, didn't want to do nothing. Um, I prayed and I pushed myself. I started feeding my spirit. I started listening to the TD. I started listening to my Sarah, my Keon Henderson and stuff. You know, I started feeding my spirit and then I got up. And when I got up, I think it was a test because when I got up and I fought the devil off, it was like I was booked up. I was booked up and then I was so busy on all hustles. Cause I have a few hustles. I don't have just one hustle. I have a few hustles. And it's just like, I started getting really busy to where I couldn't even think of the negativity. I couldn't even think of like, I didn't have time to soak in what the devil was trying to make me soak in. So it was a blessing. And it's just amazing just thinking back of like how much of a funk I was in. And now I'm just so overjoyed. And it was just like the blessing was just right around the corner. So what my message is to you is like, if you think about braiding, if you, you want to do nails, hell, if you want to be a stripper, whatever you want to do, Make sure it's something you want to do. And I want you to push and go at it. Go at it so strong. Do your thing. Like, don't worry about nobody else. And just really push yourself. And if you balance something in your head, like, I don't feel like no counselor, nobody, no human being could sit down and tell me what's what. Because if that's the case, the world would be a perfect world. So I feel like my advice to people that's having like those mental breakdowns and stuff like that, the only person I feel like you can talk to is God because humans don't hear you sometimes. They don't mean, they don't mean, they, they may not mean, they, they might not mean to come, to come off so, you know, hurry up and get over it type of thing. They don't, they don't mean that. It's just that everybody don't understand where you're at so my advice is just to talk to god talk to god and feed your spirit and that doesn't have to require you you know what i'm saying hold on that doesn't have to that doesn't have to require you listen to gospel and stuff all the time you can feed your spirit if you like to run shit you might 
you get your endorphins and like running and working out or you know watching some old school music videos or like talking with a friend or like going to the pool taking a walk like feed your spirit give yourself something that makes you feel good and i feel like that really really helps and sitting off to yourself and really evaluating what just happened in your life and what do you want to move forward really really helps like that is my advice to you guys and um yeah i'm overjoyed guys i got so many clients doing the back to school i finished them all um i have two cancellations which was fine but i did my thing and i went to the trap mm -hmm. went to the trap and made that little check right quick dude i tell y'all i threw a wig on y'all a client canceled on me and i was out of there you hear me i was out of there i went to the trap and then I was even, I even had time to do my hair. So I did 11 heads, y'all, within this last week. And I did my hair. Let me get a close up. This is my hair. It's blue at the ends. It's the large and hot ones. But I had time to do my hair. I just think my remedy is to stay busy. It's really to stay busy and talk to God and really try to stay focused. But that is my video, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will definitely be back, guys. Trust and believe I'm coming back. I've been real, real, real busy, but I ain't forgot about y'all, boy. You feel me? I ain't forgot about y'all, boy. So make sure you guys stay tuned.